Okay, well we'll try that again. See, I'm already having sound issues. That's why I probably gave up doing these daily Cosmo waves. Um, good morning and welcome to your daily message from the Cosmo for the 8th of May. Now, this is just a trial and I think the other video, I've just tried one and the quality and the sound was horrific. Not acceptable and if I can't get the sound correct, it's no good um, me continuing these but I've tried a different mic so we'll see how we go but welcome back to those viewers that are still there that are still subscribed to the Cosmo I've just got a bit of free time so I thought right we'll give it a whirl we'll try the daily since a few people do inbox me and say that they miss um, what I contributed the cards you can't see them clearly because I'm doing it in the evening time on the 7th and these cards are hand painted by an artist by a gentleman called Ian Doherty who is a psychic medium and also an artist and at some point I will try and put the link below for those that are interested in his cards today on the 8th of May um, happy Friday to you all it's been a very tough time since we had the full moon in Scorpio last weekend so Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday Monday a lot of you would have felt drained lack of motivation very low of mood very depressed as if life wasn't worth living we should be starting to pick up but this week in particular is a hard week um, there's been squares there's been obstacles Capricorn moon today is on a practical level the Capricorn moon is a powerful emotional moon and it's about your goals it's about aiming high around work so if you've got an interview um, if you've got some form of ambition or talk with the boss or someone in authority this is about being steady the steady fast goes this is about going at a slow pace today because you need to kind of really just pace yourselves because the goat likes to take things on that steady level there's a square to Uranus at some point today so there's a little bit of a bump in the road and Uranus rules electricity your identity your image it could be something unexpected that you've got to deal with or a situation or a person today so so and steady wins the race tackle things one step at a time is probably the best way forwards the two cards um, the number 13 is a feeling of the blue represents communication a little bit of um, perhaps lack of detachment of late which is what you've all been feeling that lack of detachment within yourselves just needing time out needing to perhaps take some time out for yourself to be on your own that then starts to shift to number 31 and you cannot see the beautiful colors on these cards because the second card with the orange the bright orange the clouds that stand around the sunset suggest new thoughts rising from deep within uh, bring in a sense of excitement so your subconscious mind's going from a cold detached energy into one where there's more warmth renewed optimism emotional fulfillment and this is a card telling you that there's change just around the corner so after the cold detachment and needing time on your own cutting away from the world all of a sudden you're going into some renewed optimism maybe it's someone talking about the work area about promotion about your goals about your ambitions um, Capricorn rules a boss people in authority so I'm hoping that this card or these cards will bring some form of communication and news that kind of tells you what is going to be coming into next week so have a fantastic Friday short and brief but I hope you've enjoyed your daily card or Cosmo for the day blessings to you all and have a great Friday